If you've followed me for any length of time, you've probably heard me talk about the fact that my family were professional clowns. I actually was a professional clown for a little while. My clown name was Chubbus. It was a hot mess, and I was a riot of a clown. But the but the experience of growing up around clowns and costumery my entire life left a deep impression on me. And as a full-time painter now, I find costumery and clothing and carnival and celebrations absolutely fascinating. I also have a deep love for art history and connecting with painters that came before me and understanding what made them tick and the, the influences that um, help them choose their own subject matters and why they painted and where they painted and for who they painted. So this is an altered book about Paul Gauguin and he is somebody that lived a very dramatic life um, but he was known for having a terrible itch for the unknown and it could possibly make you do mad things it was a quote and I absolutely love it because one of my core philosophies in life is to push past ordinary uh, I find the predictable sameness in life uh, quite boring at times so when I teach I also teach how do you instill that in someone who's not used to thinking through that. The use of an art journal is one of the most important tools I've used over the past 15 years to teach myself how to tap into creative freedom and play and explore tools and concepts and ideas uh, without the voice in my head of I'm doing it wrong and this is not right. It's not about accuracy. It's about expression and it's about letting the line move in a way that teaches me over time um, what are the markers of my style, what are the ideas that I want to bring to a canvas. So as this page develops you'll see I'm, I'm just practice, I'm practicing sketching the figure a standing figure. I always, if I'm going to alter a book, want to leave some of what is in the book. I don't want to cover up the whole thing because it helps me connect with uh, the artist energy and the words. So the words are important and the images are important. And it's not about copying what I see. It's about using it as a bridge from the past of art history to the current present day of what I currently do as a painter. So this is just a figure that has to do with carnival or wearing a collar and a mask and it's very wonky um, it's a bit like a contour drawing and I'm just using uh, a very loose approach to it I haven't decided on a color palette but on this page what I'll do is I'll test some colors out I'll work with some colors that I'm thinking about using in a larger painting this is my place where I can play and explore that and uh, I'll make things bigger and I'll make things smaller. So this is a much larger, it's kind of an enlarged version of that small figure's head. I'm just playing around with shadows and with collars and with possible head pieces. Um, there's not any set steps I'm following. I'm just using my creativity and the practice that I have come to love on this page. So I have a riot of a good time in that... Um, you know, I'm, I'm not attempting to paint a clown face or a costume with realism. I am simply thinking about how do I want to darken things? How do I want to shadow things? What is the structure of a collar that I want to play around with? This one is very feather-like, that type of thing. I want to think about how I would blend colors or pair colors. And then sometimes I use these pages absolutely just to play and have a good time. Because you've got to build that into your professional practice where it all just becomes work. This March I'm teaching an online course called the Journal of Interesting. And it's going to help painters choose a book. But also more importantly um, consider and think about what do they find interesting in life. I find costumery fascinating and carnival fascinating. And the moments in life when... Uh, we celebrate and we have a good time. Those concepts keep me captivated. And I want to spend time with studying them and painting them and sketching them and experiencing them. And also building a creative narrative. So the Journal of Interesting 
um, is going to challenge artists to choose their own subject matter, their own way of thinking, uh, their own concepts that they want to spend five weeks exploring through the use of an art journal with the intention of bringing some of those concepts to canvas. It's going to reinforce their practice, their mark making, their structure, their color habits, all of that within the context of building an art journal page. And then this September, I'm headed to Santa Fe to Beverly Todd's uh, artist retreat there to teach a three-day workshop called From Journal to Canvas, which is going to show a painter how to take a book like this that they've worked on and bring the concept to canvas so that their style and their visual language uh, can be tapped into much more concretely with the intention of creating paintings using this method. It's not about the accuracy. It's about tapping into what's absolutely fascinating to me in life and being expressive and creative and using those skills through creative play to help me become a better painter and communicator with my visual voice. If you're interested about this course or about the one in September, you can message me at info at artithgoodwin.com or you can visit my website at artithgoodwin.com forward slash workshops and shoot me a message too because I love to have conversation with creatives and painters about how they use art journals and how they uh, develop their process through the pages of a beautifully bound book.